it's Dawn the Kitchen Witch and we are here at the WZID Women's Expo in Manchester, New Hampshire. Such a spectacular day, WZID has been fantastic hosting this fantastic event and we've got the booth going which is great. There's Lisa selling some oil. Lisa, wave. No, she doesn't, she doesn't want to. Lisa's having a lot of fun today. And here at the Women's Expo, we are debuting, or actually it's the second debut, of our Zesty Lemon Oil. This is our brand new product. And you can see it's still got the prototype label. It's the prototype label that I printed out of my handy dandy uh, Hewlett Packard uh, machine. So um, people seem to really be enjoying it. We debuted it the first time at Wicked Fair a couple weeks ago. The ladies of New Hampshire are really loving it. We're using it to make a salad dressing today, and we're having a great time. People are having fan a lot of fun. There they go, running around and laughing and enjoying the day. And we're just super happy to be here and hope that everybody likes lemon oil as much as they like everything else. And I think they are, because we're almost sold out. So Today, we are making salmon cakes, which is a healthier version of crab cakes, right? Yes. And we're going to cook them in roasted garlic infused olive oil. And then we're going to put them on a bed of spring greens, right? Because it's spring, damn it. <laughs> oh, don't forget, tonight's spring ahead an hour. There you go. Okay. That's why. That's why, because it's and spring, I'm damn so it. I'm glad that you brought me my box. I did. Thank you. I did. Uh, and so the bed of greens is going to be uh, dressed with a little of our brand new zesty lemon oil. Has anybody tried the zesty lemon yet? Not yet. Yeah, it's really good, right? Because there's nothing worse than naked greens. Yeah, no, you don't want any naked greens. No naked greens. No, they must be dressed. This is public. Yeah, well, yes, yes. So, how's everybody? Are you guys having fun? Yeah? All right, are you guys ready for the food demonstration that you'll remember forever? Yeah, forever. It could go, it could go either one way or another way, with Dawn and I together. This is trouble. It's our anniversary. <laughs> it's our anniversary. I'm so excited. My anniversary with Heather Bishop. Yes. We met one year right ago. Right here. Right here. On this very stage. And we've had a love affair ever since. BFFs. Yeah, BFFs. Anybody want to come and join us over here? Come on, come on. We're very friendly. I'm making free food. Come on, over. Come on. Uh, for for this for this meal, I, I uh, uh, suggest a riesling. If you have really? want, yes. Yes, a nice riesling, a crisp white wine. Yes. I don't wine. Yeah, you do. <laughs> Just not in a glass. Just not in a glass. <laughs> We're hilarious. Oh, they're not right. having any fun yet. So we've got 15 minutes. So let's we got 15 started. minutes. Okay. All right. So salmon cakes, really super duper easy. You won't believe how simple this is, you right? I can make them. You can make them. Whoa. So you get salmon. I don't know if you can see it, but you find it in the tuna aisle, right? You get wild caught salmon in a can. Now, of course, I recommend going to Trader Joe's or Whole Foods or your local natural grocery for something like that. You're gonna need one egg like a teaspoon or so of mayonnaise and a teaspoon or so of mustard, some Cucina Aurora veggie dill dip, right? Which you can purchase over at the Cucina Aurora booth. You can. You're gonna need a little garlic infused olive oil and for the salad you're gonna need a little lemon infused olive oil and a smidge of whatever your favorite vinegar is. So this is a champagne vinegar. Okay. Classy. Classy. Like classy. Classy and sassy. Mm. All right, so. Would you be classy or sassy? Ah, uh, that's a good question. I think I have a lot more sass. I don't know. No, I'm not really that classy, so, so the two. So, so you'd be classy and I'd be sassy? I'd be classy and you'd be sassy? Yeah. Comedy duo. Woohoo! Yeah, all, all right. right. Blow it up. Boom. All okay. right. So let's, uh, we've got the salmon. So we have the salmon. Ooh, mm -hmm. ah, right. come on, come and eat. Come we, on. Look, look, everybody can do this. Are you ready? All right. Put the egg in. Oh my whoa, God. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I can do that. Right, now we do a spoonful or so of mayonnaise. A spoonful of mayonnaise. mayonnaise. No, no, doesn't have the, no, no. And, no. and then a little bit, and then another like a little teaspoon of mustard. Does it matter what kind of, does it have to be eh, mustard? No, whatever you have in your fridge. Everybody's got mustard. I throw it in. It doesn't have to be complicated. Like yeah, you could use great poupon. Okay. Awesome. You could use great poupon as well. Whatever. Yeah. And so, then, uh, so, and then a little veggie dill dip. You're going to use. here for like another 10. Yeah, you're going to use about a tablespoon of that. And you're going to mix it up. Put a little breadcrumb in. Now, for my gluten free friends, this is, this recipe is gluten free. Okay? So you mix it up, make a nice little paste. Look at that, isn't that lovely? I would not brush my teeth with that. No, 
Different kind of pace. <laughs> totally different kind of pace. All right. All right. We might. I've been up since early this morning. Don't mind me. We're gonna need a little bit more breadcrumb because it does seem to be like it's a little too thin. You don't want it mushy. You want it a little. Yeah. You want it clumpy. to be able to stick together. You want it clumpy. Yeah. Clumpy. Clumpy. Like like the consistency is as if you were making tuna fish, right? Okay. okay. So. We have our pan has been heating up, so I'm going to put a little bit of this roasted garlic olive oil in there. I wish you could see this. I wish this was like fancy schmancy and there was a mirror here so you could see everything. No, they don't want to see Use, my spot in the back, so that's why I said no mirrors. It's, yeah, so uh, I'm going to just let that go. Okay. <laughs> So a little bit of so a, a little bit of warm, you know, in the warm pan, you've got your garlic olive oil. And you're gonna put that in there. Now we're gonna form this into not balls. Oh no, not balls. We're gonna form it into cakes. Oh. Okay. Okay. A little cake, about that Aww. big. Oh, it's so cute. Now, like a little patty. Yeah, a little patty. Now, Give if you're a little patty. and you're gonna just then dip it right back in your breadcrumb. Remember, these are gluten-free breadcrumbs. You, this is so that I can eat the leftovers if you guys don't eat them. And that's it. Boom. And now even if you don't have a gluten allergy, the gluten free is good for you. That's correct. That's correct. So now we're going to turn my heat up a little bit, and that's it. And you're just going to keep doing that. Now, do we flip these? We do flip them. Okay. We're going to give what them about. What should we be looking for while we're cooking these? So we're going to be looking for them to start to sizzle. You're going to hear, you know, if you want, yeah, you're going to hear that you want them to know it's cooking, you gotta hear it sizzle, right? All right. Now, right. this is not one of those projects where I should start it and then go watch the news and then come back 10 minutes later. I would not. This is quick. So you can okay. do this for a quick week, weeknight dinner, a quick luncheon. Oh. While these are cooking, yes. we're gonna switch over here to our salad. Do you want me to switch sides? Or no, I you're fine. You're cooking? You, oh, oh, should we have Heather do it? Yeah. I think we should have Heather. Oh, come on, should we have Heather do it? Like, no, I, I don't know. Like they are not voting for you. Because I want to the food. Okay, That's so fine. I don't judge. I'm the same way. Shake right. that up, because we always say in front of all these ladies. shaking is the best part. I feel so. No, 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 no. You have to, you have to do it for everyone. To shake it, shake and be proud. Good, okay. very good. Okay. All right. So now what do I? So do? now I just open it up, and you're just gonna drizzle a little bit. See, she can do it, you can do it. It's very easy. Okay, dri drizzle. Drizzle, drizzle. Clockwise, there you go. Easy. A little more. A little more. Perfect. Now, don't don't shake that. I took the lid off. A little vinegar. Okay. Just a little Just a little drizzle. I'm afraid I'm gonna hurt it. You're not gonna hurt it. Okay, there we go. And now, Heather, my dear friend. Yeah. Do I get to toss my I'm salad? gonna ask you to toss the salad. Toss it my salad! At least it's everybody's salad, actually. So do it well. Okay, I'm trying. You look at what a good job you're doing, even one-handed. One-handed, this is so easy, I can do it one-handed. And you're checking our patties. And I'm checking the patties. Okay, how do they smell? They smell good. They smell good? What do you guys think? Mm. Right, and they're super duper easy. You know, the great thing is when you're buying that, that salmon that's in the can, it's already cooked. So really what you're doing here is you're really just heating them up and browning them. And like I did with these, you can cook them ahead of, you can uh, make them ahead of time. And then you can just pop them in the frying pan when your guests come over. So easy. Right? How simple. Okay, so. Is, is the salad officially nice and tossed? I believe, I, I believe it is, yeah. I want to get everything all nice looking. Look at how, it smells delicious. I don't know if you guys can smell the lemon. I do. It's good, right? So that lemon oil. That, that, that lemon oil is brand new for us. So we're prototyping it here. You'd be the first people to try it, to let us know what you think. Now, let me just tell you this. Don and I met last year. We did. Here, and uh, my, since then, my husband, son, and myself have become addicted to the dipping oil. And it, I call it the dipping oil, but you can use yep. the oils for everything. Like yes. if there's any chicken in it, um, we, if you have people over and you have like one of those, you know how you go to the grocery store and they get those big, big fresh loaves of Italian bread and you're like, oh. So you, you put that out, you cut it up, you put like little bowls of these around the table and just dip it in there and it's so good. And I feel so classy when I do it. Yeah, she does feel classy. She's got to do things to make herself feel classy. Because I'm sassy and I, 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 I'm going to have to take her up on that because I... You are so I, I have a little. Who, am I sassy? A little bit. She's a little more sassy, maybe. Yeah. I don't know. A little. 
sassy. So you'll notice as I'm doing this, I'm adding more oil to the pan because it's a very big pan. And I want to cook as many of these for you guys as I can so that everybody gets to eat some. Because you want to try these, right? Okay. So this shouldn't take more than... Two minutes, three minutes. Oh, they I cook. Say 10. So, okay. No. Well, start to finish, the whole process, you can see, takes about 10 minutes. Nice. Super easy. Now, important to note, let's say you're not into this whole, oh, canned fish thing, right? It might not be, and that's okay. I tend to always have a can of tuna or a can of salmon because you never know when you have an emergency and you need something, right? Everybody's got that. But let's say you went out to dinner and you only ate half your salmon. Or let's say you cooked up a bunch of salmon and your kid hated it and left his whole portion. Well, you can make this with those leftovers, right? It's fancy, it's delicious, it's a great uh, substitute for things like crab cakes that are a little higher in cholesterol and maybe you're trying to watch that, right? The thing that makes this real special, of course, is the olive oil that we're cooking it in because that's a lot of your flavor comes from there. And then, of course, that veggie dip. Now, our veggie dip is a, is a relatively new product for us. It's delicious, it's fantastic. It's dill and mixed vegetable. So, when I designed it, I designed it to be a dip or a spread. But what we have found is people use it in all different kinds of things, and I'm constantly finding new ways to do it. She's digging in. She's ready. Oh, I'm, I'm prepping. She's prepping. For the, for the people. She's prepping for the people. I'm prepping for the people so there's not a stampede once they're done. Actually, can we can we have a volunteer from the audience, Come Stephanie? Come her. Come on up. I just met her. Let's give her applause. Round of applause for Stephanie. All right. I swear I didn't speak. Stephanie, come on over here, and you're going to start plating that salad. Come on up. There you go. Okay. Right. You're going to start plating that salad, and that's about a good amount. That's good. And then uh, she did. All right. And there's one. And then we can get a, a you know, somebody can get a fork and come on up and start eating. And you let me know what you think. Now, if you like this recipe and you'd like to get it for yourself, it will be released on my website on Monday. So you want to come by the booth and you want to sign up for our mailing list. And you always know when people like the food because everybody gets quiet. Thank you so much. What'd you think? How we do? We did okay? I guess we won't know how we did until you start tasting and eating. It's getting quiet. It's getting very quiet. Look at how nice they brown up. Thank you. Look at this assembly line we have going. Right? She said, it smells wicked good. I'm originally from New York, in case you couldn't tell, and I can't just get, my, I can't get myself to say wicked anything. I'm trying, though. I'm trying to assimilate to your way of life. It'll take about 15 years. Really? Yeah. Somebody's got to do the, please, sir, may I have some more? No? no. It's good? Good. Lovely, lovely. So what do you guys think? You having a great time at the Women's Expo? Yeah? Everybody get their wine yet? No? I haven't had mine. Thank you very much. You guys are going too fast for me. Yeah, they're too efficient. Take it easy. Come on up and eat something. Right? Zesty. All right, so coming up at one o'clock. Sorry, we didn't come. Coming up at one o'clock, <laughs> Trainer Jesse Pavelka from NBC's The Biggest Loser is going to be taking the main stage. Woo! Uh, so then at are they adorable? Two thirty here. We're going to have a presentation with David Bellman from Bellman Jewelers. And at three o'clock, ladies, you're going to be back because we're going to be making. Oh. So this is your lunch and then you have your dessert with Van Otis. After you hear Jesse tell you how to love the, the point of this whole expo is that it's all women-run businesses, local businesses, really supporting 
uh, women and women's interests in the state of New Hampshire. So it's great. Um, there's a couple of booths here for people that are, um, you know, raising money for breast cancer awareness. There's a lot of healthy living kind of booths. There's arts and chocolate and lots of wine. So Kachina Roar is really happy to be part of this spectacular event. We can't say enough about WZID and the great work that they're doing putting on this women's expo for us. And we're really looking forward to coming back again next year. So enjoy the day. Thanks for joining us here at the Women's Expo and we hope you had fun.